Welcome back to Switch Corner. Today we're going to be taking a look at Hypercharge Unboxed and in particular the Plague Mode. The folks from Digital Cyber Cherries, they reached out to me, asked me if I could do a video for them and as always I was happy to talk about this one with all the care and just constant updates they're putting into this. So yeah, let's take a look at what Plague Mode is and why this might be, you know, a really good mode to check out, especially over this Halloween period. So with that, like, hit subscribe if you love the Switch as much as we all do here. Join our growing family and let's get started. It. So before we do start this, remember it is just one tiny element of gameplay. Hypercharged on Bucks is a first person shooter which throws in some tower defense for good measure. You can play solo, you can play local co-op, you can go online and you'll find everything here from working together to deathmatch to of course then today's plague mode. If you haven't picked this one up just yet though, I would strongly suggest you go and take a look at the free demo available over on the eShop right now. It costs nothing and it's going to give you a real good sense of, you know, what hypercharge on Boxed is all about. So with that look, Plague Mode is for sure one of the more unusual modes you're going to find within Hypercharge Unboxed, but it is also for sure a highlight. The idea it's simple enough, all players they spawn into a level of choice, one player then randomly turns into an infected toy and yeah, now they'll be hunting you down or of course in some cases you'll be doing the hunting yourself. My favourite way to play this one personally it is actually being the infected, there's something just incredibly satisfying about like hunting these opponents down while also doing my like best zombie impression. The goal here though if you're the infected you're gonna hunt everyone down as quickly as possible or at least before the timer runs out. If you aren't infected you gotta run, you gotta hide, you wanna probably shoot your way out of trouble occasionally and then also platform your way to safety. This is a mode that's just kind of becoming like more and more popular. In, in fact like weirdly Four Guys has something kind of similar but what this one just nails is it's bringing like guns and then the verticality of these levels to the party and I gotta say there's something incredibly satisfying about hiding out high up in a level after like some perfect platforming or at least if I do say so myself and just kind of relaxing and watching the infected run around clueless or trying to work out the ascent and path you took to get up there. Also when they do catch up with you there's like very few games that can capture the intensity of a firefight with an infected toy that's sprinting straight towards you. It's both comical, somewhat terrifying at the same time but nothing says Halloween like a glowing green scary ass toy. This mode though it is weirdly also fun watching your teammates get hunted down too. Now they say in, or at least in the communication with me that teamwork is important and it is like for sure important but there's also some entertainment in just knowing you were the last toy standing. Also honestly let's be real it's better that, like them than you that's that's what I say anyway. Probably explains though also why I'm no good at team sports. Hypercharge though it does a few things very right and that is its influences. Not only do we have like a small soldiers infused world here you know for all the other like single player local play online play but this is a throwback to virus mode from time splitters 2 a game that's now like 18 years old and that absolutely terrifies me i still remember sitting on the sofa with friends playing that one and that's where i think hypercharge just absolutely succeeds especially in this mode it's leaving serious at the door and it's focusing its attention squarely on just having a blast with your friends having a good time finding this mode it's simple stuff and you can play this one either locally with up to four players. I'm playing split screen here right now in the footage and then of course you can jump online for up to eight players which for sure is a bit more manic. Also I swear when I did split screen my missus kept cheating and looking at my half of the screen to you know see where I was hiding so I kept resorting to that age-old tactic of looking at the floor or just looking at the wall closest to me like it was like the good old N64 days. Jumping into plague mode though could not be easier for local you're gonna head to split screen then game type multiplayer then game mode plague. If you're looking for online goodness you want to go to that matchmaking menu and just filter by game mode plague. Of course as well for online you can also host games as well if that's like your go-to mode. For me that's what I went to because I was jumping in with a few friends. And that is it. That is Hypercharge Unboxed Plague Mode and again the support they're showing this one is for sure just up there with some of the very best. It's always fun to share these modes and the updates they are doing. I will link any of the coverage I have done previously in the pinned comment down below but just remember this is one one of many modes so do check out the full review check out all the updates they've done and if you don't own the game already maybe check out the free demo they recently added to the eShop then if you are looking for a team of toys you know to battle against or battle with we did launch a switch corner
on a Discord recently and we're sharing our friend codes over there in game nights. So head there if you want a few extra opponents next week. In fact, I'm going to be setting up a few online matches for us just to all get together as a community. So with that then, like a quick shout out to the patrons of the channel who are just going above and beyond to support Switch Corner. Helps more than you know, so thank you all so much. Also as well, another shout out to Digital Cyber Cherries for working with me on this video today. Then like hit subscribe if you love the Switch as much as we all do here. Join our growing family and I'll see you all on the next video. Thanks everyone.